Hello guys! The problem? Determine the force P required to start the wedge and the angle of friction for all surfaces in contact is 15 degrees. So dito, kung i-analyze natin yung figure, yung P, yung hahanapin natin. So kailangan natin malaman yung value ng P to cause motion sa wedge or block A. So meaning to say, what is the value of P para mapagalaw yung block A pababa. So let's consider some of other forces. So we have 2,000 pound acting downwards sa block B and 500 pound pushing to the left of block B. So dito, kung mapapansin natin, itutulak natin to. So yung tendency nito is maiipit siya. So kailangan natin mahanap yung P para yung B is mag-move to the right. So yung motion or yung, uh, yung approach ng block B will be going to the right. Kapag pinush natin yung P, yung block B ay magsaslide punta sa kabila. So dito, kailangan muna natin uh, ilagay yung mga existing forces na present in each block. So uunahin ko muna yung block A. So kailangan i-draw natin yung figure A separately para malagay natin ang mga forces na present sa isa't isa. So ganito yan. So ito, itong figure, ito yung uh, representation ko sa block A. So ito kunyari yung ating block A and same approach din yung P natin which is going downward. At yung tanong saan ko nakuha yung R2 at R1. So first yung R1. So normally kapag uh, magadikit yung dalawang block meron yung normal force. So since yung block natin is uh, yung pagitan ng dalawang block natin is vertical. So yung normal force nyan is horizontal. So itong broken line ito yung normal force. So lagyan natin ng note. Ito yung ating normal force. And then uh, kapag pinush natin yung P so therefore yung block A natin is magmo-move to the downward but let's consider na merong frictional force between block A, B and block A so yung frictional force is going opposite sa motion so yung frictional force is going upward so kung ilalagay natin yan dito so ganito yung normal force natin is horizontal and yung frictional force is going upward and then yung angle of friction ito yung angle ng resultant natin with respect sa ating normal force so dito sinabi sa problem na yung angle of friction for all surfaces is 15 degrees so therefore yung angle nito is 15 degrees so yung resultant tinawag kong R1 so pwede na nating uh, i-ignore yung normal force and frictional force since represent R1 as their resultant force so erase natin yung mga iba Next is, we have R2. So, paano ko naman nakuha yung R2? So, first, nag-draw ako ng normal force. Normal force natin is uh, perpendicular sa plane. So, since yung plane natin is naka-incline uh, 15 degrees, yung kanyang other angle dito, with respect sa ating horizontal, is 75 degrees. Since yung total angle ng perpendicular, so let's say ito yung vertical natin, at ito yung horizontal, is 90. So, therefore, given na itong 15, therefore, ito is 75. So, ganun lang. Naka-angle ito ng 75 degrees sa horizontal. So, therefore, ito na. And then, yung frictional force, again, kapag tinulak natin yung B, yung frictional force between block A and surface dito is going upward. So, therefore, dito yung approach ng ating frictional force. Ganun. Then, connect natin head to tail. Ito is normal force. We have a resultant of R2. And yung angle ng R2 is 15 degrees since given sa problem na yung all surfaces, contact surfaces ay may angle na 15 degrees. So pag okay na, pwede nating uh, i-ignore yung dalawang arrow. So pwede na tayo mag-focus sa R2 as one resultant of normal force and frictional force. And then nag rin ako ng horizontal line meaning uh, gaano kalayo yung angle of elevation ng R2 sa ating horizontal. So dito, hindi natin alam yung angle na to. But we can draw vertical line as their uh, parang guidelines natin. So, mamaya malalaman natin ang purpose nito. So, first, kailangan mo identify yung mga angles. So, ito 15 degrees. Kasi dito, kung i-diretsuin natin yan, 15 degrees yun din yung angle. So, pag 15 ito, dito is 15 din. And take note, normal force natin is perpendicular. Meaning, it has a total angle of 90 degrees. And 15 ito, therefore, ito is 75. Dito is, itong angle is 75. And then, Pag 75 ito, ito naman is yung 90 degrees. Gets? And 90 plus 75 is 165. And what is the total angle of triangle? Is 180. So ito is 75. And this is 90. And this is 15. Therefore, yung total angle ng R2 is 30 
degrees so erase na natin to so ito na so kung titingnan natin yung r2 natin is 30 degrees above horizontal and yung r1 natin is 15 degrees above horizontal so tatlo lang yung mga forces natin and since uh, medyo okay na uh, we need to draw this into force triangle so ito yung ating force triangle wherein yung P is going downward katulad nito and yung R2 is going like this with an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal ito 15 plus 15 is 30 so therefore pag 30 ito itong angle is also 30 30 and then in total angle ng perpendicular is 90 so this is 60 and this is 60 pero outside na siya ng triangle and then 15, total angle nito is 90. So this is 75. And this angle is also 75. So i-add natin to as total angle of this corner, meron tayong 45. So pwede natin tong i-check kung 180 talaga. So 60 plus 45 is 105 plus 75 is 180. So then pwede na tayo mag sign law. However, hindi natin alam yung value ng R1 at R2. So, we need at least one value para malaman natin yung P. So, proceed muna tayo sa free body diagram ng black B. So, iset aside muna natin to. So, this is the free body diagram for black B. So, as you notice, nilagay ko lang ito. Kasi pareho lang din naman. And dito, sa R3, we have normal force, which is acting upward. And since dito, yung frictional force natin is going to the left. So, dito, yung P natin is tinulak pa baba. Then, we can conclude na yung black B will slide to the right. And once na mag-slide siya to the right, yung frictional force going to the left. So, ganun. Going to the left. And then, yung resultant is pa ganun. And then, again, yung angle of friction is 15 degrees. And dito sa R1, babalik tayo sa ating free body diagram A. Na ganito yung kanyang reaction. So, pareho lang yung kanilang angle, pero yung approach is magkabaliktad. Kasi dito sa ating prop, magkadikit sila. So, meaning, may reaction going upward and may reaction going downward. So, yung value ng R1 at R1 dito is just the same. So, we can uh, focus na sa block B. So, dito, pwede na natin itong translate into much simpler na free body diagram. Ito. So, dito, yung 2000 is going downward. And yung R1, ito, 15 degrees below X axis and we have 500 pound which is acting to the left and R3 which is 15 degrees uh, to the left of Y axis so okay na to dito hahanapin natin yung R1 since kanina present yung R1 sa block A natin and para makuha yung P sa ating force triangle we need at least one na value ng side ito we need at least R1 or R2 so since present yung R1 sa free body diagram B we need to solve for R1 so balik tayo sa B so dito da dalawa yung anong natin which is R3 and R1 so gagawin natin dito maging practical tayo let's set R3 as our Y axis so ganito yung itsura nyan so I set R3 as our Y axis then ganito na yung mga itsura nya so dito nag tilt lang tayo to the left dinano lang natin ng 15 degrees and ito na then yung R1 natin is maging 30 degrees and yung 2000 natin ay magiging 15 degrees to the left of Y axis and then yung 500 natin is maging 500 above X axis so now pwede na natin masolve ang R1 using summation F of X summation solve R1 summation F of X so dito R1 natin cosine 30 minus kasi nasa kabila cosine 75 2000 cosine 75 or 2000 sine 15 so this is also 75 so I use this and we have 500 cosine 15 equals 0 then to solve R1 divide both sides by cosine 30 and then we finally found out that R1 is 1155 pound then we value the sign of R1 so what's next is to substitute R1 to our force triangle in block A. So, ito. Ito na yung itsura. So, this R1 substitute ko as this value. So, yung kanyang angle is sin 60. So, dito P sin 45. Then, continue solving. We solve for P. 
the value p is 943.37 um, meaning to say in this kind of problem or figure uh, in order to make this wedge move downward with the initial condition na 2000 pound downward and 500 pound na tinutulak pa ganun pa left so initially kailangan natin ng 943 pound para mapababa itong block A with a angle of friction for all surfaces na 15 degrees so ganun lang yung minimum force natin required is na solve na natin meaning kapag greater magmumu pa rin pero pag lower value of P is hindi gagalaw yung ating block thank you guys and more power